one of the most talked about shows in Nashville since its announcement, Wu-Tang Clan is playing the mother church of country music. Now, this is the first time a hip hop or rap artist has played the Ryman Auditorium. And News Channel 5 Jesse Knutson reports it's a sign of the already thriving hip hop scene here in Nashville. In studios all across Nashville, you can find people working on all genres of music, from country to hip hop. Hip hop is a culture. Rap is the music of hip hop. Shannon Sanders is no stranger to the genre. He's worked with plenty of hip hop, rap, R&B, gospel, and country artists, racking up two Grammys along the way. And he said while Nashville is seen as a country music town, it's so much more than that. It's no secret that the country music industry has branded itself with Nashville, and it's amazing what they've done here with Nashville. When people say Music City, though, Music City to me speaks more to the, uh, the breadth of uh, and range of all of what the city is and has to offer and everything that's here. I mean, there's so much music here. And that's why it's no surprise to him that Wu-Tang Clan will be playing the Ryman Auditorium this June, making them the first hip hop or rap artist or group to ever play the legendary venue. Man, the fact that Wu-Tang is coming in the middle of CMA Fest is amazing, but that's to my point. You know, that really shows that we are Music City. And for Shannon, it shows that the hip hop scene is as strong as ever with some of the genre's biggest hits being recorded, mixed, and produced here in Nashville. Nashville definitely has a strong hip-hop culture, a strong R&B culture, and always has. In Nashville, Jesse Knudsen, News Channel 5. <laughs> the Wu-Tang Clan show, that'll be June 9th. That's the final night of CMA Fest. Tickets go on sale this Friday. Stay with us, we'll be right back.